Hi everybody. I just uh, got back home. Uh, landed about 10:30 p.m. tonight, or last night, because right now it's like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. I had a lot of fun in Maui. It was uh, I haven't gone on a vacation in over two years, and it's a great vacation. I uh, reserved the ticket four months in advance and um, went to the car. Did all that literally four months in advance. Uh, the prices shot up if I were to plan it last month instead of paying $90 a day for a Mustang GT convertible I would have been looking at $700 a day for the same car so um, and the hotels were ridiculous I checked two weeks ago two three weeks ago and they were like a thousand dollars a night but since I got reserved mine four months earlier, I was paying about $200 a night. Beachfront. So yeah, plan your vacations early. It makes a huge difference. Um, so I feel like talking tonight and if you have time you should just hang out and just watch my video or watch this video if you've been following all my videos one thing they all have common is I don't have a script I don't write out anything I just think about it you know maybe a couple minutes before making a video and then I'll just go with it and the reason I can do that is because everything I'm sharing with you guys are the truth and the truth holds the authority the truth always comes out natural I don't need to worry about covering my track if I was lying but I'm not. So every one of my video is just no script. I just tell it like it is. And for those of you that don't watch my videos in its entirety, you're really missing out because I noticed a lot of my advice are really good towards the end of the video. So that being said, Watch my videos when you have the time to watch from beginning to end. Because if you're a TI and, and you're stressed out and you want help, well, let me tell you, sometimes just that one piece of information, just that one piece of information would connect the dot. And once you have the dot connected, all of a sudden, you know this dot, this connection makes sense. Well, now the process of elimination. Now all of a sudden all these other what if scenarios clearly don't make sense no more. So you can get rid of them. And from that one connection, now you can branch off, maybe connecting other dots. And once you start building these connections, the big pictures are coming in. Now, for most of you, that big picture will most likely not come to view unless you have help. And I'm here to help you because I have a responsibility to help society. And right now, the society is heading towards a direction that's just very selfish ego driven and 
easily manipulate it. And I'm, I'm not talking about government or politics, okay? I'm just talking about TIs, targeted individuals. And TIs, a true TI, is a very valuable person. We are very valuable. And that is because we have a skill that over 90% of the people in the world do not. And for me to just tell you what that skill is, it's too easily just over overvalued or over or just ignored, too easily ignored. And that's why all my videos is so slow paced and I'm letting you know I know what these gang stalkers are, but I'm not telling you who they are. I'm not showing you who they are because, like I said many times, the answer is all over YouTube. And for me to just show you, you most likely just brush it off. And I realize the best method is for me to build up my credibility. And if you've been following my channel, you know my credibility is strong. I know it, because I'm the best. I'm the best TI. Oh, finally there was a comment. Thank you. Um, I forgot the user, I think it's Sean. I, I'm sorry, but I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but thank you for acknowledging that. And that makes me feel like I'm doing something right and the first 20 videos it's very uh, just basic okay I, was, I would call it basic now the next 20 videos that will be showing you it will be extreme world-changing information very intense. There's a part of me that also wants to put it on ink, officially submit it to the Library of Congress because the information I have is world changing and also holds the answer to a lot of the, I would say the three biggest question, one of the three biggest question in humanity. Now, Obviously, that's subjective. But if you're watching this, what are the three most important questions in the world? If you, you are going to get the answer to, to these three questions, what would be the three most important questions? Now, I, I know overwhelmingly one or two of these questions are going to be across the board about the same same question, right? I would imagine are we alone? Uh, what's life's purpose? Is there a God? I mean, that's just three off the top of my head. I'm sure you would have different questions. Some of you out there might be more to the extreme side as in... Um, can we live to a thousand years or how to live to a thousand years old you know it's just something way out there i mean that's fine but majority of you have one or two of the same question and i would imagine one of them is are we alone or oh yeah or and is there a life after death right these two are probably going to be the majority of the across the board these two questions Now, these type of topics are so incredible. The more you think about it, you feel like a sense of like enlightenment. And topics like this, you will need to sit down with someone who's, who's somewhat equal, equal-minded, to be able to have these type of conversation and 
sort of help each other elevate. Uh, conversations like that can't just you can't just put two people together and try to have a conversation like that. It's their life after death or 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 we alone. I mean, and I, I feel like throughout history, a lot of these debates are just like that. It's the whole the topic itself is it's not well constructed. And when it comes down to it, it's just, okay, proof. I mean, that's what you guys all want. You want proof. I mean, for for one, okay, let's talk about this. Is there life after death? Yes. Absolutely. For anyone, now let's be fair, okay? I want to be fair. I don't want to be like an a-hole because sometimes I know... I can be an a-hole just to be fair you and I are having conversation and I'm telling you yes there is life after death and yes there is such thing as ghosts if you have an open mind and your answer is maybe you know, I, I don't know if there is. I can't answer. Now, that is the proper response because anything that's not close to that response, it just means you haven't done enough in your research. If your response was, no, there's no such thing as ghosts, well, I know for a fact, if that was your response, you haven't spent the time to research. Because if you dedicate five to 10 hours, now no lies, solid, fair and honest, five to 10 hours on the topic of ghosts, paranormal, life after death, the information is overwhelming. Just go on YouTube. Look up ghost videos, CCTVs. It's easy for one to just discredit the footage and say, oh, that's video editing. Without even thinking twice about verifying the information or, or just doing the proper research. And now when you're going to dig into this topic, it's not fair unless you spend a good five solid hours researching this. I would say probably 10 to 20 hours, solid 20, 10 to 20 hours researching this topic. And it's going to lead you down a rabbit's hole. And you're going to know the information dates back thousands of years, different cultures. It's not just in America. And as far as you can, you can reach in civilizations and culture, as far back in history as you can go, there's always mentions of life after death and ghosts and paranormal. Now for you true TIs out there, the next 20 videos is going to test your willingness to expand your mind to elevate your consciousness because the stuff I'm going to be talking about are information that have been taught throughout history and have been mentioned by many people famous or not so famous but What's different about now is we have the internet. We have video cameras. We have cell phones. We have satellite imaging. We have translation. And I, thank God, I connected dots.
than no TIs have. And that's why I'm easy breezy. Now, the reason I connected these critical, crucial dots is because of where I live. Look, it's 2 a.m. right now. My neighbors are all sleeping. I'm just out here making a video for you guys. I can be out here all night if I want to. But of course I'm not. And imagine you're in my situation. And whatever the level of gang stalking, the, the abuse, your harassment you're getting. Now if you take whatever you're going through and you put it here in my situation. You're going to have a lot of freedom to experiment. You're going to have a lot of freedom to test out different theories. And for the last few years living here, I was blessed with having the opportunity to test all these different situations and the harassment, the voice to skull, and many different methods to mess with them as well. See, I don't just sit around and let them mess with me. I, I have my way of messing with them. And I got one that's so good. So good. It's so good. I feel bad because I, I will share with you guys, but then majority of you won't be able to do it because of where you live. But I can do it here because my neighbors are just way over there. One of my goals is also to find the easiest way for TIs and TIs that do not are not aware that they're TIs. And the vulnerable people that are TIs, but they will never ever even get to the the level of verbal abuse by gang stalkers because these gang stalkers they have so many ways of messing with you. They don't have to use one of their strategy or one of their tactics unless you have discovered or unless you have a way to counter whatever most effective strategy they have on you. And that's why for those TIs that are just stuck in the government stage, I'm trying to help you get out of it. Because as long as you're stuck in the government stage, that's exactly where they want you. You too easily convince yourself Oh, this is so advanced. It's got to be the government because no one else will have the money. Or it's got to be the elites, the billionaires, the, the combined sitting you know, in a round table, trillions of dollars. No, I'll tell you why. Because these gang stalkers, they're more powerful than, than those trillionaires. They have power that money can never ever replace or stop. I'll tell you something right now. Many of you, well, you guys are not me. Because I'm streaming home. These gang stalkers, they're just more advanced. They are more advanced in the sense of existence. You want to talk about existence? These gang stalkers? They're higher up on the pyramid. Just the way it is. A majority of you in the world.
are vulnerable because they can easily manipulate you. They're, people are being manipulated every day, not even realize. And I'm not talking about no government or, or secret program. What can it possibly be? Now moving forward is accepting new ideas and let your mind expand. There'll be a lot of information I'll be sharing with you. And only a handful of you TIs out there will actually understand because the other half of the TI or the other overwhelming, overwhelmingly the majority of TIs will most likely not accept the information at first but eventually they'll, they'll come around at their own pace and there'll be a handful of you out there who actually just understand exactly what I'm talking about now I got sidetracked here back, back to what I was saying about one of my goal is to find the easiest way for the most poor, lazy, and and in the worst in living environment. Okay, these three. So, so for a TI to be in a bad living environment, to be lazy, and financially uh, broke okay these three a TI with these three characteristics my goal is to find the easiest way for this TI to overcome the gang stalkers and to be honest with you No fear. That's the easiest way. If you're a Hollywood celebrity, you have all this money, or if you're a law enforcement officer, dealing with these gang stalkers is just completely different. You know, your fame and money can help you unless you understand no fear because that's one thing I I wasted a lot of money experimenting and now I've gone to a point where I feel so confident and so comfortable I have new ideas just sparking flying everywhere but you know what's one thing that's holding me back it's a very important tool, and that's money. See, money is a tool. If I was given the money to experiment with new gadgets and new ways of dealing with these gang stalkers, A lot of progress can be made and not just for humanity but for military as well now I want to stay away from military because I know men in black and that's another thing Once we get towards the end of this video series, maybe around video 35, I'm going to show you some stuff from NASA. And everything's going to start connecting. The dots going to start connecting faster than ever. 
and I will show you exactly what these gang stalkers are. Let me share a very fascinating story with you. This, this is a great example of why I connected dots that other TIs don't have the opportunity. And, and TIs they connect different dots. You could be connecting dots that I I overlooked and I could use, while other TIs can connect different dots. I mean, we can all help each other. But I'm confident I I connected so many dots. It's gonna help all of you. Now, I start work early. I go to work around 5 a.m. Um, you know, I, I I live on a farm, so um, I I drive a truck, and I start work at five, and I would come back home around 3 p.m. So one morning, a couple years ago, one morning, I would wake up, you know, get ready to go to work, and I would have the news on, 4 a.m. news, right, 4 a.m. local news. 4 a.m., okay, think about it. Local news at 4 a.m. And as I was, I remember I was lying there, just, you know, for like a couple minutes, just letting my energy kind of like starting to build up, you know, just kind of let my mindset kind of just get into the groove, listen to the news. And all of a sudden, a segment, okay, just less than one minute long segment. The TV anchor mentioned this lady, she passed away. And her grandkids found her diary. And obviously her grandkids, the one that told the news station about this. And in her diary, she had entries talking about how every day of her life, She was getting harassed by voices. And they, these voices would pretend to be her friend. But then at the same time, I mean, not the same time, but there are times when she hated them. She 